Okay, let's look at question two of uh, 2017 WIC and um, see what it has for us and then we analyze it before we start answering. Two views of a triangular lamina are given in the first angle projection in the figure below. Draw the true shape of the triangle, measure and state the length of the sides of the triangle. Find the angle that the plane makes with the horizontal plane. Okay, let's look at the given problem. This is the given problem. Uh, this is the plan view, and this is the elevation. So we are required to find the true shape of this lamina. And the true shape is usually found in the second auxiliary view. So let's get at it and start working. If we look at all of these dimensions given here, we have 35 and 15, and here we have 15. 50, right? It means that this line AB in the plan is parallel to the XY axis, which means that in the front view, AB will appear as the true length of the line AB. All right? So we have A prime, B prime, which is the true length of the line AB in the plan view. So the first um, step has been fulfilled. We find the true length. We found one. So if we don't find one, the next alternative is to create one. But we found one already, so we can just start um, um, projecting and then go to the next step. The next step is to project through uh, TL to get another edge view. And that is usually called the first auxiliary view. So to get a first auxiliary view, we have to project through this through length, this length, so we can actually get our auxiliary view. So I'll do just that now, change this quickly. Um, quickly extend this uh, here. All right, that done. Plane. All right, have it there. So every line drawn has got to be parallel to this. So I'm gonna pick this line since it already gives us a clue as to how the line should go. So place one line here and that'll be it. So I'm hoping that the projection of this line is going to be just off. We know the rules with first auxiliary. Now we can apply our one to rule. I'm on this plane. I'll go one plane backwards, from which I'll take my measurements from. So uh, let's go. Let's count how many planes backward. This is one plane. So if, I'm, if this is my reference, then the next first plane is going to be x, y. So I'm going to be here, taking my measurement. The one, two row says um, one plane, two views backward. So I'm going to count, I'm here on this plane, which is my reference. I'm going to count two views backward, one, two. So why list them on this x, y plane? I'll be taking measurement with respect to the view here, which is the plan view. Uh, for Well, for status, I think I should just shift this. X, Y plane. Let's move it a bit so you guys don't get confused. Um, yeah, won't be bad. Yeah, right here. I'm going to find that A from the reference point here, X, Y, is 50. So I'll stand on my new plane and take an arc. 50 and cut that'll be my position a position i'm looking out for is the, the position b fortunately they are in the same line as the position a so the distance there is also this is my position a here i'll create an arc too and it's to give me 50 because the distance from the reference plane 15 plus 35 is 50 and then 50 here all lie in the same plane of course they all lie in the same plane and a and b are going to be there so i have a new position a1 and b1 a1 and b1 is the position so pick up uh, labels from the formal 
drawing copy that bring them here all right excellent so a1 and b1 are in the same spot so i'm just going to do this b subscript one and stock it all right I want to be line for uh, example purposes. And the distance from there is 15. I can see from the me measurement here, from here, to this reference is 15. So uh, if you already have it dimensioned, you won't be having that problem. Okay, so I've got 15 arc, and I'm going to cut it here. So this is my position C, and I'll call that C1. A new position C. I'll call that C1. So here is our edge view already. If I take a straight edge, draw a straight line to this point, the triangle that we see as having three dimensions is now having one, which means I'm looking at it flat and all in an edge view. So that's my edge view. And from this edge view, we're going to produce a second auxiliary which is perpendicular uh, to this line as well. So we're going to draw perpendicular plane, a new xy plane, and we'll label that xy2, y, xy1, rather xy, um, x2, y1, sorry, x2, y1. So bring this here. Uh, do this right here doing this right here so I have my plane okay some of you may want to extend this so that you don't have lines overlapping Okay, here is it. And like before, I'm going to draw lines perpendicular to this plane. Has to be perpendicular. So my, I'll turn my auto on. Okay, my auto is on, and this is perpendicular. Again, I will have to check if it's actually 90 degrees. It's to whatever length you want. You can take that off later. Copy this line on to the next point, which is right here. Okay, I haven't done that. Would apply the same rule, the one to rule. I'm on this reference plane, and I want to draw my second auxiliary. This becomes a view, so I'll go one plane backwards, one plane. I'll be on x, y, x1, y1. That will be my reference plane, new reference plane. And if I'm on this reference plane, I'm going two views backwards. It's going to be one view, which is this, two view, which is this. So this reference plane, I'm going to be taking my measurements with reference to this elevation view. All right. So with that, I have this. And with my reference plane here, starting with C. C measures uh, sixty nine point four. So go to C. So here's where I am. Sixty nine point four. So I'm gonna draw this a little bit past it. Let us see. The next point is um, look for B. B measures 19.1. Yes, exactly 19.1. 
So I'll come to the reference line, I'll travel. So we'll check that after this drawing, but then let's have a drone straight from here. Yeah, just want to make sure that is correct. And then back to B. Okay, so now we have the points joined already. So I'm going to take this point and highlight them to see clearly where the triangle lie. And the second auxiliary so here we go Whew, done and dusted so we'll take the measurement here uh, this line measures AB measures 71.2 i'm expecting this to give it so i have to take the cognizance at that point yeah 71.2 so because of this line okay with that shortened but quickly see yeah 71.2 right there so we have 47.4 and here we have uh, we'll have the 65.9 so like i said earlier if we are correct then the true length that appeared in the elevation must be repeated in the true shape so uh, here is our true shape so this is how to find the true shape of a lamina and we'll look at the say the conditions there measure and steady lines of the sides of the triangle we would do that shortly and then measure and steady the angle that the plane makes with the horizontal the angle that the plane makes with the horizontal is actually the angle that the edge view this edge view makes with the inclined plane and plane i'll show you that later we find out it's the same this 55 right this is 55 the angle that it makes with then it's 55 and if i do this to x1 y1 plane with x2 y1 plane i'll get 55. why is that because this line is actually parallel to these so the angle is going to remain the same so to avoid trying to memorize stuff i usually would tell my students wherever you have the two planes inclined take that to be the angle that the plane makes with the horizontal okay so errors so that was, that was all oh sorry degrees it's got to be in degrees so i'm gonna have uh, Carrot yeah, Snap it up Up there So it's 55 degrees With an allowance of uh, Whatever we have there So thank you I have